How's everybody doing? My name's Mike, and we got Mr. Deacon with us today, and he is a uh, seven-month-old uh, Old English Bulldog. So uh, he came to me for uh, all the usual problems, you know, jumping on people, uh, doing all the all the kind of stuff that dogs do when they don't have uh, all, all the proper uh, structure. So it's his first day here uh, at my house, and as you can see, he doesn't really know what he's supposed to do on the leash so that's where my job comes in so we have a prong collar on them so this is my first time holding the leash i have the uh, owner put the dogs in the car whenever i take a dog the owner puts them in and so when i get the dog out of the car it's the first time i have the leash now my job is to show him like right now right then good boy how he turned back towards me i'm showing him how to use this collar gently not just pulling good boy every time he turns to me this is going to teach him this is going to teach him, good boy, how to actually learn how to keep this uh, leash loose. Good boy. So I'm encouraging him to turn towards me. Give him a little good boy. So now he's already le learning his first couple minutes. Now this dog, good boy. This dog at his house uh, pulled severely. Good boy. And again, the first day we don't expect much except for to try and teach him how to keep this a six foot leash loose while I'm doing this. Good boy, good job. Good boy, good boy. And this is what we want. Good boy, Deacon. Good, and if he tries to go the other way, I'll just give him a little encouragement and correct him. Good boy. And this is how you properly show the dog uh, what we want with these collars. You would never want to put one of these collars on the dog and then just start correcting the dog for pulling. We want to actually show the dog, if I go like this, I can kind of show him like, hey, and show him kind of gently that, hey, follow me. Good. You know, I can show him what I want with the collar, right? Good boy. Good boy. So I want him to keep this leash, leash loose. Good boy, Deacon. Come here, boy. Good boy. Good boy. So then he learns that he's not supposed to go to the end of his collar and pressure means, come on, boy. Pressure means come towards me. So when he does that, I just hold the leash. Come here, boy, good. I hold I hold the leash and I hold it still. And he kind of let himself go to the end of that. Come here, good boy. Good job, good boy. And we'll do this a couple times with him. And again, he can't jump on me either. Come here, buddy. Good boy, good boy. So again, a bulldog isn't gonna last very long. Bulldogs get tired quickly. So when I'm training them, I can kind of use that use that uh to my advantage good boy come here buddy come here boy good boy come here boy so again as long as the dog keeps the the, the leash loose hey hey so if he goes to nip the leash i correct him good boy good boy good boy come here buddy good Good boy. So that's all I'm going to ask for him for now. You see how he's doing it? We want to end it. We want to end it on a good note while he's keeping it loose. Good boy. Good job. And that's all I want from him. You don't want to put too much pressure on a dog too quick because I really haven't taught him, you know, how to use the tool properly. This is just the first introduction. We'll do this a couple times and uh, then we'll start teaching him to sit with it. And by then he's going to start understanding that pressure means...